Hello, my name is Dr. Anna O'Sullivan, and today I'm going to discuss an amazing product called Hemohem. Hemohem is actually a herbal extract that is made from 100% organic natural ingredients. It's a highly concentrated herbal extract of three of the most powerful oriental herbs, Angelica sinensis, which is better known as Dunque, Linguisticum sinensis, and Peonio lactiflora. These are all ancient Chinese herbs that have been used for over 5,000 years. Now the origin, what does Himohem stand for? The origin of the name Himohem comes from a combination of meanings. The word hemo is actually a short form for hemoglobin. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this word. Hemoglobin is actually the iron-rich protein in our red blood cells. And each hemoglobin can carry four oxygen molecules, which are delivered to the trillions of cells by the red blood cells. HIM, H-I-M, is actually an acronym for hemiopoiesis, which stands for production of blood cells, immune, standing for the immune system, and modulation, meaning control or regulate. Interestingly, the word HIM also means strength in Korean. Let's take a look at the history of hemohem. But before that, though, just wanted to give you some statistics. Hemohem has been available since 2010 in the US and 2011 in Canada. And currently, it is now available in 15 different countries, including most that, or all of the, uh, the Asian countries, excluding China. It is approved by the US FDA and Health Canada as a functional food supplement. So the history of Hemohem has that the ingredients of the Hemohem is actually cultivated in South Korea and developed through biotechnology and radiation technology from the food life engineering team of CARI. CARI stands for Korean Atomic Research Institute. It is actually the third largest research institute in the world. It's actually a government research institute and it is only um, third uh, with respect to the size, USA is number one, and the Russian Research Institute is number two. Now, this was actually an eight-year government project that spanned um, eight years and cost over five billion Korean won, which, which is about $5 million US dollars. And that was around, I would say around 20 years ago, this project was started and it involved 15 of their top scientists and 30 of their support staff. It was initially not developed for the general public. It was actually specifically developed for the Korean nuclear scientists of Cary, who were developing serious diseases like cancer and other uh, autoimmune diseases due to their exposure to very harmful radioactive materials. And Himalayan consists of three of the most powerful herbs for immune boosting and anti-cancer. And what separates Himalayan from other herbal products that you may be used to using is that because it was developed by Cary, who has nuclear technology, it is the third largest government research institute in the world. It is Himalayan was not developed by a private herbal company it was developed by a government body and they used nuclear technology to actually separate all the toxic elements from the active ingredients. This is very, very important in, such, in that every herb, every food, anything that grows from the ground has toxic elements that come up along with the active ingredients. There's not a lot of toxins, but if you have a high concentrations or if you take a lot of it, you will also get also a lot of the um, toxic elements. And so because they were able to separate all the toxic elements using a special nuclear technology that they had available, they were able to actually use high concentrations of these active ingredients of these herbs without any negative side effects of the toxins. What does Himohem do? With all the research that they've done on this product, because it was developed by a government research institute, they had available all of their technology for doing studies. And they found out through their research that Hemohem, firstly, 
stimulates the bone marrow to produce white blood cells. It also stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. And this is the most important, these two um, effects is the most important part of hemohem and why it was so um, powerful for helping people with cancers and helping people with autoimmune diseases um, because the white blood cells are what's responsible for keeping us alive. They are the immune cells and their job is to search and destroy viruses, bacteria, and also cancer cells. And the red blood cells, you don't have a lot of them, but you have a lot more red blood cells than white blood cells. And their job specifically is to transport oxygen and nutrients into your cells. So therefore, if you don't have enough white blood cells, you're immune compromised. If you don't have enough red blood cells, your cells do not work properly because they're not getting the nutrients and oxygen that they need on a daily basis. The trillions of cells from your brain cells to your liver cells, your, your skin cells, your toenail cells, every cell in your body, the trillions of cells need nutrient nutrition delivered every day. And what they've also found is that hemohem also modulates your immune system. So what that means is that if your immune system is overactive, meaning it's working too much, and that's usually indication of people who have allergies, whether it's food allergies or um, seasonal allergies, their immune system is overactive and it's reacting to things it really shouldn't be reacting to. And what hemohem does is actually dampens the reaction to the normal level. And people who have an underactive immune system are the people that continually get sick because they're not reacting enough when there are pathogens in their system. So it tends to regulate um, overactivity and it also stimulates underactivity. MOM also acts as a powerful anti-inflammatory. Two of those herbs have major anti-inflammatory effects and studies have shown that they're actually as good or even better than the pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories, and yet there will be absolutely no side effects. And also another major uh, benefit of hemohem is that some of those herbs are very good at modulating hormones, whether it's uh, female hormones uh, for people who have issues with uh, PMS or cystic formations, um, problems with, um, with menopause, Although menopausal symptoms are, are due to uh, the hormones not regulating properly. Hormones that like insulin, for instance, where people have diabetes, type 2 diabetes, if that's controlled, then um, a lot of diabetic uh, situations can be reversed. Hormones that uh, affect your blood pressure will also, um, if it's regulated, your blood pressure will tend to be more regulated. So there's a lot of hormone modulations happening. So. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to actually go into detail the benefits of the three of the main herbs that are in, home, in um, uh, Hemohem. First one is Angelica. This is a herb that's been around for thousands of years and it's better known as Dong Kui. And basically it has tons of different uh, um, benefits, but basically the, one of the most important parts is that it actually maintains your hormones balance. So it's been used thousands of years, um, especially for women, because it has a unique ability to regulate estrogen levels within the body. So whether you're too high or too low, uh, it will help regulate it, thereby uh, reducing a lot of the signs and symptoms of too low or too high. It also acts uh, to reduce the menstruation problems uh, with respect to PMS and menopause. The cramping, the mood swings, and the discomfort are alleviated by using this um, herb, which is actually helps by uh, reducing the spasm uh, that you may experience. It's also uh, a blood tonic. It's a really good for um, uh, detoxification and cleansing of your blood. And because this particular herb has a lot of folic acid, biotin, vitamin B12, um, it makes it a key ingredient in the majority of the uh, blood boosting formulas and it purifies and actually slightly thins the blood which helps prevent blood clots. It reduces mood swings, 
It improves your blood circulation, so great for a lot of cardiovascular problems, prevents anemia. Iron is a key component of red blood cells, and without it, people often suffer from anemia, which can give you headaches, muscle weakness, unexplained fatigue, and cognitive disorders. So Donquay is a powerful natural remedy for anemia. It also fights depression. So Donquay has the ability to improve mood and, mood and lessen anxiety, depression, and stress. So for women that are undergoing a lot of hormone changes up and down like a roller coaster, it can uh, cause a lot of uh, depression or anxiety and uh, stress. And so that by regulating the hormones, a lot of these mood swings will ease. Also, too, it's a powerful anti, uh, antioxidant. Um, so it also improves heart health, skin care. I mean, it's incredible for the skin. This is, works as an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial substance for the skin. And so it can treat things like alopecia, which is uh, uh, hair loss, psoriasis, and eczema. Uh, it lessens the discomfort, uh, the discomfort of the, these skin problems. And the antioxidant compounds present in the herbs keep the skin young and healthy looking. So it actually uh, prevents aging. It also strengthens bones. Um, so it increases the bone density in men and women. So it prevents osteoporosis. And it lowers blood sugar levels, which is amazing. Studies that show the regulate, regular consumption of Dong Kui helps insulin resistance uh, and decreases blood sugar levels. So it really helps with people with type 2 diabetes. Also incredible for improving fatty liver and, and uh, conditions. It also is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So anybody who has any kind of inflammatory conditions like uh, chronic arthritis, whether it's osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, it will help uh, immensely. All right, so let's take a look at um, benefits of the gusticum. Now this is uh, also this pro, uh, is a Chinese herb, and it is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So anytime there's any redness or swelling, it's really going to help alleviate that. And you can actually even apply it topically, and it will help reduce the swelling. And this is a, has a high antibacterial properties. It can stop bacterial activity, and as shown with uh, in vitro effects against uh, bacteria such as uh, pneumonia. Uh, Arginiosa, which is a, a bacteria that brings chronic infections to patients with cystic fibrosis, a general disease that causes persistent lung infections and all kinds of other bacteria that it can help with. It's also a very good for antifungal. So anybody who has any kind of fungus infection, now by the time you have a fungus infection, that usually indicates your immune system is pretty low and it can't fight these. It's actually called opportunistic, meaning they usually come on board once the immune system is very low and your body can't fight it. Um, but um, what the gusticum will do is actually will help cause the cell wall of the fungus to break down and therefore it, it uh, causes their destruction. So it also, this particular herb is very good as a sedative, natural sedative. It lessens your anxiety if you have a tendency to be anxious. It will actually help you to sleep. And it's great for headaches of any kind, whether it's tension or migraine. Um, so it's also very good, again, for the female reproductive system. Um, so again, it's, it's beneficial for that, for the female system. And Peonia, this particular herb, is, again, helps to maintain, um, uh, to clear your blood. It's a blood tonic. But one of the big um, powerful positive effects of peonia is that it has really good digestive and intestinal um, uh, issue uh, regulation. This is that usually used for any kind of digestive problems and it's great for the heart, again, for the, um, the, for the uh, cardiovascular system, amazing for the brain. It's commonly used as a rejuvenator of the mind and for including increasing clarity of thought. It's also frequently used to support the treatment of cognitive deficits to improve learning and memory. It has amazing healing powers. So it, it's amazing and it, this will help speed up any kind of healing, especially if you've had surgeries or any kind of um, trauma. And amazing for nerve pain. So 
for any kind of nerve damage and headaches, this is thought to be really, really good for that. And it will help increase your energy and make you more aware and more clear. Peonia is also really good as an adaptogen. So it's gonna help you actually deal with a lot of the stressors of your life um, on a consistent basis. It also helps to maintain balance of your nerves when you're under stress. And again, it's an incredibly powerful uh, product for your immune system. So I've just, those are just few of the few, and that's a lot. But one of the things I need to impress upon you is that Himohim is, is the most researched natural herbal product in the world. And that's because of who actually developed it. And if you take a look at the website, the, the American government website called the National Institute of Health, and this website is nih.gov. And if you actually put in him or him in the search button, you will get over 150 different um, published research papers by scientists, not by uh, a, a herbal company or a corporation, but actual scientists uh, with all kinds of health issues um, from cardiovascular disease to different kinds of cancers to skin diseases, uh, respiratory problems, uh, hormone imbalances, diabetes, high, uh, high blood pressure, you name it, there's a research uh, study for it. So you can see. And so what I wanted to impress, impress upon you is First of all, who needs to take him on? Well, in my opinion, everyone, but I'll get a little bit more specific. Anyone who is fighting any kind of serious diseases like cancer, autoimmune diseases, heart disease, lung disease, chronic arthritis, whether it's rheumatoid or osteoarthritis, hormone imbalance conditions like menopause or PMS, or if you have fibroids, because that usually uh, has to do with ho uh, hormones, diabetes, chronic fatigue, and any, many other conditions. I mean, that kind of covers almost everything that the typical person suffers from on a chronic basis. And also anyone who, who are fatigued and have chronic fatigue syndrome, that requires more stamina, highly stressed individuals, or anyone who are involved in any kind of strenuous physical activity, especially athletes, it helps you to recover amazingly well. And especially with the increase in your red blood cells, uh, your ability to, uh, I mean, get more oxygen into your cells and also nutrients, uh, that means you will recover much, much faster. Now, who can take him on? This is a question that I get a lot. Basically, one of the things that I say is if you can handle the taste, you can handle, you, you can take him on. What that means is him or him actually comes in a liquid form. And it's not the best tasting substance, but it's really not that bad. Um, there's five-year-old kids are, are taking it. 100-year-old um, 100, people can take it. So anyone can take it with just a few exceptions. The only people that can't take it are number one, people who are pregnant, because by virtue of being pregnant, your hormones are all out of whack, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So we don't want to be actually dealing with the hormones during that time. So we always recommend no uh, him or him during pregnancy. And also if you're a lactating mother, um, just in case uh, we don't, um, it's unlikely there's any problems, but if you're breastfeeding, we also say stop uh, taking the him or him during that time. And if you happen to have a lot of cramping during your, your uh, cycles, uh, just for those few days uh, to stop him or him because some of the ingredients may increase the cramping. Uh, for most women, they can take it all throughout, throughout the month because ultimately, eventually, it's going to help reduce the cramping and all of those side effects of, of PMS or, or uh, discomfort during your, your time. And the only people, if you have any um, allergies to celery or coriander, uh, you have to be careful because one of the herbs, um, I believe it's the... What is it? Oh, let me just check. It is the, um, the hmm, Angelica, I believe, um, has a, um, it's in the same family as celery. 
And so if you are allergic to celery, which is very, very uncommon, uh, then you have to be careful. All right, also Angelica happens to be a bit of a blood thinner. So if you are on medication for blood thinning, just be careful, be aware of that because you may need to adjust your dosage of your pharmaceutical blood thinner. Because ultimately you want to be taking less of the pharmaceutical and more of the natural products. So how do you take him away? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now switch to the video here and I'm going to actually show you, let me just see here. Uh, let me just show you here. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to show you. Hello everyone. So I'm live. Firstly, the Himalayam comes in a box like this. This is one box of Himalayam. And as you can see, it's fairly large and that's because each of these little boxes, you get 10 of these little boxes. Oops. 10 of these little boxes, and in it, you will get six of individually packed uh, packages. So this is considered one dose, and you're gonna get 60 of these in one big box. And I'm gonna show you how to take it. Basically, I have personally been taking Himalayan for over nine years uh, since uh, I discovered it. Um, so, I just take it straight and I don't even taste it and I'm used to it. But if you take a look right here, there's a little scissor uh, in this perforator. So what you do is you basically tear right off. As you can see, there's one end where the Himalayam is going to come out. For those of you that are just starting, I always recommend you get a glass uh, of maybe water or juice. Some people use coffee, some people use ginger ale. You can use whatever liquid you like. Um, because it doesn't matter, it doesn't re react to anything. Uh, so what I want you to do is put this liquid, um, you're going to actually, let me see if I can show you. There we go. You're going to basically uh, just squeeze that liquid into this cup. Okay, to get every drop. Then, there we go. And just take a spoon. As you can see, it's a very thick brown liquid, and that's the, the concentrated herbs. What you can do is just mix it. All right. You can even use less water because the point of the water is to make it thin because it's very thick. Um, so make it thin, and what you do is you just drink it directly. There you go, and you can follow it up with some water. So basically that's how you take the Himalayam, but it depends on who you are. And I want to just give you um, some guidelines because different people have different uh, um, systems. So it depends on your sensitivity. If you have a very sensitive um, stomach, what you want to do is take the Himalayam with your meals. Typically herbs you should be taking on an empty stomach because as soon as that herb goes into your system and it's your small intestine, there's no digesting necessary, so it's gonna get absorbed immediately. But if you have a very sensitive stomach, you, you may irritate your stomach a little bit. So take it with your food near the end of the meal. Uh, that way it has a chance to, uh, that your food will help modulate some of the maybe sensitivity. And also too, if you're fine, you don't have any, sensi any sensitivities with respect to your stomach, then take one as soon as you get up in the morning about half hour before you, you eat. Uh, you can drink fluid, but wait maybe a half hour before you, you have any kind of food. And then take the next dose. You typically, the, the maintenance dose is two a day. Uh, so I always take mine as soon as I get up. I actually have one of these boxes in my bathroom. Uh, so there'll be six there. And then when I run out, I just, I just put another one because that way we don't forget. Uh, so as soon as I get up, I take one, have a glass of water, or I'll brush my teeth. And then I'll take another one later in the afternoon. It could be when you come home from work, or um, it could be just a half hour before you, uh, dinner time, right? Um, you can also take it before you go to bed. But a little warning for people who have issues with chronic fatigue. What I find a lot of my patients who have taken this, 
Uh, if you do have adrenal issues, then the Himohim will sort of kick it, just like it, you might with uh, coffee, and you might get a second wind. So if you take it too late in the evening, uh, you may have trouble sleeping. Um, but for my, in my case, I'll take one first thing in the morning, I'll take one just before I go to bed because I have a tendency to forget during the rest of the day because I don't know, life is busy. So figure out when you need to take it. You can even set an alarm on your phone so it reminds you. Okay, so uh, those are who are, if you know you're very sensitive, I suggest you take a little bit at a time. So instead of taking the whole uh, thing, put, what I want you to do is put, uh, use maybe a teaspoon or, or two and put it in a small bit of water and drink it and then just, just split up the doses. This one package has 20 milliliters. That is two, um, that is two tablespoons. So what you wanna do then is just to work your way up, maybe taking just a, a teaspoon at a time, or if you wanna get used to the taste, put one whole thing in, and then you can just sip a little bit throughout the day. But I personally prefer to just take it right at the same time and be done with it, okay? So, um, I think that's about all I'm going to cover with respect to how to take him or him. Um, so I'd like you to get back to the person who sent you this video. If, if you're ready to get started or you have, you have more questions uh, so that they can answer your questions and get you started on your road to health. Because this is one of the most powerful tonics you can call it that, but amazing what it can do for your immune system, your hormone system. Um, every, every single cell in your body is going to benefit from this product with absolutely no side effects, no toxins. Now dosage, I forgot to mention dosage. The maintenance dose is two a day, meaning one box is 60 of these. And uh, if you take two a day, that's going to last you one month. Um, for children, my daughter takes one, she's 17, she takes one a day, it helps, it's how it totally balanced out her hormones to the point where she used to have a lot of problems with PMS, and now she doesn't even realize she's starting her period. Uh, so it's also given a lot more energy, um, which, is, which is awesome, and it makes her sleep a lot less, because now she's getting up at six in the morning instead of me trying to drag her out of bed at seven o'clock. But anyways, uh, the Maintenance dose when you first start, you may want to start two a day, but if you have serious health uh, issues, like you're fighting cancer, or you've got very severe autoimmune diseases, uh, and you're older, and you want to get results faster, I recommend you, you work your way up to taking six to nine a day. Um, those people who are fighting cancers uh, actively, they're taking six to nine a day. And then once their, their um, condition's much improved, then they can um, cut down on the do on the dosage. Um, you know what else should I comment? Okay, so I think that's about it. So get back to the person that that um, referred you or sent you this video and uh, get started right away because you're going to get results very very quickly. This is a very powerful concentrated form. It's it's in a class by itself. It's not like any other herbs that you may have used. And so you will notice a change within two weeks. A lot of people notice a change within four to five days. Typically they have a lot more energy or they may be going to the bathroom better or they're sleeping better. It's gonna be different for different people because everyone's different and you have a different area that, that's needed. And so I always urge you to uh, urge everyone to at least try for one month because within one month, you will definitely notice um, if it's, it's helping you or not, right? So uh, thank you for watching and have an, off, have an awesome day.